the NFL as an offensive lineman, you have to be very cerebral to your craft. And a guy that becomes kind of a, a technician, he's that kind of guy. The way they train them and the way they develop them in Madison, I think really allows them to not get to the NFL and all of a sudden be in shock of the size and the speed because they're so technically sound. And it really allows them, I think, to have an edge on their competition. What's up, Cowboy fans? This is Tyler Biotis here. Very excited and humbled to be a part of the team. Let's go have some fun and let's get to work. Go Cowboys. All right, guys, it's Tyler Biotis time in the lab. So we're going to take a look at the center here. We took him in the fourth round in the NFL draft. We're going to take a look at the good and we're going to take a look at some of the bad. Without further ado, let's get right into it, guys. Here we go. All right, guys, let's take a look at the measurables here. He didn't run a 40-yard dash because he had an off-season uh, shoulder scope, so he didn't have a pro day, didn't have an NFL combine, all right? 6'4", 314 out of Wisconsin. The Badgers out of Wisconsin. The offensive line NFL factory, all right? All right, taking a look at this here. In spring of 2019, he had hip surgery to repair an issue he had playing through it in 2018. All right, and like I mentioned earlier, he had a shoulder scoped here recently in uh, 2020. None of this really stopped him from playing, and he played well at a high level, earning himself the Remington Award for the best center in all of football. All right, guys, so let's go ahead now and get into the film here with Tyler Biadish. All right. In this play here, we're going to take a look at him moving this guy out of the way with a hip press. Take a look at this play right here. Watch the defender. Look at that right there. Good technique. Good technique. This is what you're learning out of the Wisconsin, you know, um, program. They teach you a lot of these things, that, like uh, Herb Street said, and I totally agree. They come into the NFL polished, you know, and they don't, there's not a steep learning curve with these guys. And here's the same play, but just a different angle. Okay, opens up the lane here for the running back. Here we're gonna take a look at Biadish, kind of getting beat here with a swim move. So not everything's perfect, but still, you know, he's still getting a good player, but he does get beat here with the swim move. Okay, let's take a look at this play here. This isn't really a common issue with him, but he does have a little bit of a bounce issue every now and then. In this play, you're gonna see him handling a stunt play. Okay, some people may say his feet aren't that good or or he's athletic, but I, I don't agree with some of those people. I think he is athletic, he's got good feet. Like I said, he does have some bounce issues every now and then with some lunging and that kind of thing where he can get caught off guard, but those are rare instances. But look at this play here. Picks up the stunt, Watches the secondary rusher with ease. All right, good play there. In this play, you're going to see some just smash mouth, offensive line, grinding football. John Madden type of player all the way. Opening up the hole, letting the runner get through and, and convert the first down. All right. All right, let's take a look at the replay here. Look at this. Just moving that line, moving that defensive tackle out of the way. I love it. I love it. Can you imagine Ezekiel Elliott running behind Tyler Biadish opening up these holes? It's going to happen. I can't wait. All right, here's another example of Tyler Biadish opening up a running lane for Jonathan Taylor. Take a look at this here, right here. He just washes out that defensive tackle at ease. Moves him out of the way, opens up another running lane for Jonathan Taylor. Ezekiel Elliott is going to love this player. All right. He is more powerful than Joe Looney. I know they're talking about Joe Looney, but Biadish will start eventually. Okay, we're going to look at a play here. Biadish versus defense tag. What happens on this play? He gets beat on the play, but here's why. Okay. He's looking back. So just real quick, look at the play. Got them highlighted here. They're going to lock up horns, and the defensive tackle is going to get by with this elbow move, and it just swims past him. Okay, so Biadish kind of leans, kind of lunges a little bit on this play. Okay, you'll notice that there, but he beats him with the elbow here and then uses the leverage to, to go right past them. So combination of things here, a little bit of a technique issue and got, got uh, thrown off balance. All right, check out this play here. I, lo I love this play. This is from the uh, 2019 game versus Ohio State. You know, pretty vaunted defensive line, but look what he does here to the defense. Always looking for contact. You know, he's gonna give him a, a little chip here as he's coming out of his block. And there's just a little nuances that, the, that these guys are teaching the Wisconsin Badgers over there for being NFL ready. All right, and now he's a cowboy, baby. Here we go. That's it, guys. That's your boy, Tyler Biadish, center 
Wisconsin Badgers fourth round combo is traded back into the draft to grab this player, okay? Mike McCarthy went in person to see him play a game there, uh, you know, living in the area, so there's there's something to this player, you know? Um, obviously, dropping in the fourth round, I think a part of it were the medicals. If he can stay healthy, I think we have ourselves a really good pick. Projected to be a first round player by some, you can see why. Um, doesn't get beat a lot, you know? Does he have balance issues a little bit here and there? Technique here and there, but that's that's the same for a lot of these young offensive linemen that are coming out. But like we keep saying, coming out of Wisconsin, these guys are always NFL ready, and I think we're gonna be in for a treat here. Um, Ezekiel Elliott, we're gonna love this player. Will he start week one? I don't know if he will, but don't be surprised if he does. All right, it's quite possible that he could. He's got good caliber coming into a very good offensive line room with all that talent. He's gonna learn a lot more than what he already knows. And that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think of Tyler Biadish. And as usual, guys, continue to like, subscribe, and share. I really do appreciate everybody checking out these In The Lab videos. I did make a playlist specifically for this series. So if you missed out on the other ones, go check out that playlist. But that's all I have right now, guys. Next on the In The Lab series will be the next player. And that's going to be Bradley Anaya. It's going to be another great one. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll see you for that one next Saturday, guys. See you for the next one. Peace, everybody.